Hey lovies. How is everybody today? I hope everybody had a great weekend. Did y'all do anything fun? Um, let's see, what did I do? Really not much. I got ready for work today. Mm, not much else. But if y'all did anything fun, tell me. I'm really excited to hear. Well, to start off, you know what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about subscribing. Oh yes, subscribing. It's the way to go. I'm just kidding. For those of y'all that have subscribed, I really, really appreciate it and thank you so much. For those that haven't and are curious, join us. Oh yes, join us. <laughs> we would love to have you as part of our little family. Okay, now, as far as today goes, I have my foundation and stuff on, as you can see. But today we're gonna talk about a little haul, some stuff that I bought on Juvia's Place. Now, I had heard some good things about Juvia's Place, and let me tell you, this highlighter I put on is from Juvia's Place, and it's the Royalty 2. Take, take a look, take a look. Get over here and take a look. I put it on and I was like, holy highlight. I loved it. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I wish there was more lights you could see, but the light's being crappy right now. So, so, so beautiful. That was the Royalty 2 that I put on, and that is this one here. Now, let me open it so you can see this beautiful, beautiful little thing here. Mwah! Just kidding. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that shine and shimmer and beautiful gorgeousness. I was so in love. Okay. You can even see it on the top. But it was so great. And it's super easy and like super, you know, blendable. And I loved it. I loved it. So I did get another highlight from them called um, the Nubian Nefertiti. But I didn't open this one yet. So as soon as I do, I'll tell you. But the color is like more of a golden as opposed to the Royalty 2, which is more of like a light copper. This one's completely golden. You can probably see it in there. Oh, I'm super excited. I love it. So, I did put on, like I said, my bay, my foundation, my concealer, and I did put on my highlight, my blush. But I bought some, let me tell you, Juvia's Place was having like a 40% off sale. So, 40% off. It was like, Eliza. So I did go buy some stuff. So I bought three eyeshadow palettes. Three of them. Three. Let me tell you. The first one is the Zulu. Now I've never tried Juvia's Place, so I'm just like, y'all, this is completely new to me. And ooh, so we'll try this out together. But let's look at Zulu's Place first. The Zulu, excuse me, Zulu's place. Mensa. Ooh, look at that. So pretty on the inside. Look at these colors. Gorgeous. Now, I like colors, as we know, as we already know, because we've done this before. So this, to me, is beautiful. Apparently, this one is called Art is Life. Didn't know that, did you? Look at that. Let's swatch these. <laughs> I'm excited to swatch them. So I've heard good things. I've heard that they're super creamy and super great. So I'm expecting wonderfulness. Okay, the first one we're gonna swatch. You know what? I'm just looking. These things don't have names. No names. It says one, two, three, four, five, eight, and nine are their names. So I have no idea what their names are. Let's go with this orange first. So we're gonna swatch the lovely orange there. That's the orange one. Then we'll go in with this yellow one. Yellow. Wow, they're really coming out. Coming out to play. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now this brown one. So that's the top row. 
Please hold. I should have had my wipes ready, but I didn't. Gotta get some wipes to clean my fingers. Fingers. All nice and clean. Let's go to the second row. Second row. Okay, so that was the first row. Now we're going to do the second row. Super eight. Second row, first set aqua blue. Aqua blue. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Now the next two on this row are kind of like shimmery glitter pigments. I'm hoping that they come out great. But we'll see, because sometimes they don't come out so great. Oh, no. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. Okay, and the last one is the same type of blue as before, but it's like shimmery glimmer. Holy moly. Look at that. Fabulous. Sorry, cleaning fingers again. I know. Okay, and then we're going to do the last row. Ding. Last row. Okay. We're going to go in with the glitter shimmer first. Ooh. Ooh, that glitter shimmer. Look at that color. Call in my name. Now, I don't know what number it is, but whatever number it is, it's calling my name. Okay. Let's take a look at that one. <gasps> That's beautiful. Ooh, I love it. Okay, the next one is like a rosy red type. Oh, it sure is red. And then the last one is a beautiful, beautiful pop and purple. Pop and purple. Super cool, huh? Okay, well that was one. I have two more to go through. Two more. So let's put away, let's put away that one for now. For now. The next one is the Saharan tube. Let's open that one up so we can take a quick look at this. I love the artwork and stuff that's on here. Super awesome. Bring. Very nice, huh? All right. Ooh, these have a lot of shimmers. I don't like shimmers. But you do need mattes. If I can tell you one thing with eyeshadows, you cannot do an all shimmer eyeshadow. If you do, it's just going to look really yucky. You need mattes. Okay. First row. We have this like little peachy purple. I mean peachy purple. Just peach. That's the peach. The next one is like a vanilla. Let's put it up here. Vanilla. Vanilla. And the last one is like a bronze brown. I'm running out of arm space. I'm running out of arm space. Okay. After that, we're going to go into the second row. I'll show you the second row. Give me one minute. Second row. First one is like a blue, a really pretty shimmer blue. Jeez, be still my heart. These shadows are called, look at this, insane. They're calling my name, calling my name, calling my name. Look at that, holy moly. Okay, next, next. You know what, let's start putting some on the inside here. It's the next one. Next one's like a mint green. I don't do so good swatching on the inside, I guess. I'll swatch on the side then. And then the last row on this one. Oh, I'm getting a little faster with this one. Got this down. Except cleaning my fingers. Look at this. Ridiculous. And then they're so pigmented. But cleaning my fingers is a chore. Last row. We're going to go with the brown first. The brown kind of resembles the other one. Let's see. Let's take a look at it. No, it doesn't. 
on that one. Then there's like a reddish russet kind of red brown. That one. And then there's like a orangey brown. That one. And that's it for that one. And I actually do think I'm gonna use this one today. Cause they're speaking to me. The last one is The Warrior Two by Juvia. And now the only thing that I know is different from The Warrior Two is I know The Warrior Two is an all an all matte palette. I'm gonna go with those colors. And this one says it's the Amazons. Huh, I forgot to tell you what the other one was. This one said it was inspired by, ooh, by nothing. Oh well. Okay. Oh, this one actually has names on it. Huh, look at that. Names on this one. So we'll know what they're called. The first one is, I'm going to completely butcher these names. So please forgive me, Juvia's Place. Yodit? Yodit? Yeah, it's like a tan brown. The next one is Kufuru. Yeah, I told you. Completely butchering. Next one is Walzana. And this one's like a charcoal. Look at that. I have to start swatching some on the other hand. Okay, other hand. Because I ran out of room on this one. So we're going to go to the next hand. Okay. The next one is Dara. And it's like a... Not like a peach, but like a... Well, you'll see. You know what? Let's do it up here. See? Dara. The next one is Zama. And this one's like an orange. Zama. Then Jamata. Here I am making them all Latino sounding. Jamata. That's Jamata. I don't do good swatching on this hand side. Okay, next one. Last row. We're on the last row. And then we'll get to our actual look. The first one is Shawada. And it's like a a black. That's a black. See? Then Kana. And Kana is a taupe. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's completely my skin color. And then the last one, last but not least, is Zaz. Zaz. And Zaz is like a, like a linen, like a white, but a beige white. Oh, I just completely, oh well. So, those are them. So I think I'm gonna end up using the Warrior palette and the Saharan too to do an eye look today. First, let me clean these lovely fingers of mine real quick. And throw these wipes down. And let's start. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the crease color first. Feel all rainbow bright. Let's see. Dim, 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 Let me get a fluffy brush here. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Dara. How did it look on me? Yeah, looks good. All right. You know what? I'm gonna go in with the color Yodit first. I hope that's how you say it. It's making me nervous. Mm -hmm. I personally like a lot of, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to be quiet just in case I have to actually speed this up because it's going to take forever.
And I did go in with my little fluffy brush to go ahead and put some color on my crease. The yoded color, because I'm kind of going to go for a little neutral with a pop of blue, I think. I think that's what I'm going to go for. So we've got that. Now I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to go in with a little Zazz and Canna. Just on my lid to give it some color. I'm going to go in with a flat brush. And these are actually um, my little new brushes that I got from, um, My boxy charm box. In case you're wondering what that smile was for, my little son was telling me that he loves me. Come here. This is my son. This is my little one. He wanted to say hello. <laughs> hello. I'm just packing on that color. Mm, I don't know how I feel about this lipstick. It's like a lip gloss, but it's it's getting sticky. Mm, no me gusta. Mm. Okay, so now I've got Zaz and the Yodit on. I'm gonna go in now with a little bit of color to go in between in the middle here from Yodit and the Zazz. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do Dara. Just a little color. I'm gonna go with Dara. And I'm gonna put some blue on the bottom. Even though I like color, I tend to like to keep my colors um, pretty like tame and neutral. I don't like to go, you know, really crazy with my with my colors unless it's you know like some reason that I'm actually trying to be a little on the wild side. Other than that, I tend to try to keep my my colors pretty neutral. I'm just gonna blend that together. I am very much a blender. I don't like to people to be able to see where one color ends and the other begins, if that makes any kind of sense. I'm going to put the Warrior palette away and I'm going to bring some sparkle. So I'm going to bring the Saharan too. And if you see, they have some similar colors but just shimmer shades. So I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of this color in the center here. And then I'm going to use this color on my brow bone. And then I'm going to use a little bit of this and this on my lower lash. So I'm going to be quiet while I get this finished up. Hmm. 
Hmm. So I will tell you, if you don't like the way it's going on with your brush and you're going in with a shimmer shade, use your finger. Go in with your finger, pack it on with your finger. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> I apologize, I still have um, my little bit of my cold, I'm trying to get over it. The cough has lingered on forever. It doesn't seem to wanna leave me, apparently it really likes to be with me. Oh, in case you couldn't tell, I did get my hair cut this weekend. So I'm like a brand new woman. Just a new woman with a new haircut. And we're gonna go just really lightly at first. And go in with a little bit of color. A little bit of blue under here. Just give it a little pop. And like I've said before, when you first put on eyeshadow and stuff and you don't have anything else on, it always looks a little crazy. And you're like, oh my god, it's going to look hideous. Not going to look hideous. And then I'm going to take a really, 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 really tiny little brush. And I'm going to get that little pop of mint to go in this corner right here. You hear popcorn in the back, he's growling, he wants something. So, now that we're done with the eyeshadow, we're gonna go ahead and do our eyeliner and our mascara. Now when I do my wing liner, just in case you wanted to know, what I do is I tend to just take it and I wing up first like this and then I just take this and I meet the corners and that's how I do it so it doesn't mess up and you can go as glamorous as you want or as small as you want it's really entirely up to you you can see my little it's entirely up to you how big of a wing liner you want and that's all I do and it's really easy that way and I found that that's the easiest way I can do it because that way I get my wing I can you know do it as bold as I want or as thin as I want like you know when I was at work I had a little tiny one and that was it just depends on what you and what you prefer and what you like we're gonna go on this side Again, eyeliner are sisters, not twins. So you just kind of look at what you have here. And you take this and you do the exact same thing on this side. Now this side of my eye tends to crease a little more. So I always have more trouble with this side. And I just look on both sides and judge it and see, you know, hopefully they don't look foolish and go with that. If they don't match completely, just do it the best you can. I mean, you're your own worst critic. You're going to see the things worse than anybody. Like right now I can see that they're uneven, but you know what? Most people won't even see that. It's my own thought that makes me think, oh my gosh, fix it, fix it, fix it. But the more you want to fix it, the bigger your eyeliner is going to get, the bigger, thicker line you're going to get, and you're going to end up looking like a raccoon. <laughs> We've all done that. Okay, now we're going to put on our mascara, if this would close. Oh. Eyelash curler. Sorry, I know I'm covering right now. All right, let's get this eye, eye, eye mascara. Jesus, I can't speak. Uh. 
primer mascara today I'm using Lancome's Monsieur Big. Now that's one of my favorite mascaras. I love it. Love, 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 love it. And I just got some under my eye. So I've noticed like when I've been looking at things that lately people are with their mascara, they're like doing that to that mascara. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I could never do that because if I did that, I'd end up with mascara all the way on the bottom of my... I'd end up looking again like a raccoon because I'd have mascara just everywhere. This is what I've seen them do. Let me show you. Hold on. Again with the lovely faces. So this is what I see people do now. They go like this. Ugh, I can't do that. I'm so scared that I'm going to like put mascara all on the bottom of my face. Okay, so we're done. As you can see now with everything on, with everything on now, um, you can see that it doesn't look so scary after you put everything on your eyes. The eyeshadow doesn't look so scary. It looks, you know, and it was a lot of colors. You saw how many colors I put on there. And it looks like it was a put together, very thought up look. So, let's see with my level glasses now. Cause I'm blind. No, I'm not really too blind. A little bit blind, a little bit. So we're all done. Oh, as far as my lip, um, I put um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the Pure Hollywood that I got from my Allure Beauty box on, and I put a gloss over it, and the gloss I'm not really sure I love too much, and it was a buxom gloss, which is kind of sad because I really like some buxom glosses, just this one isn't really working for me. Um, but this is my finished look. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Um, again, subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me. Um, I really enjoy doing this. Like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I just love beauty. I love beauty, everything about it. I love makeup, I love skincare, I love, you know, I just, I love it. I love fragrance, I love, it all makes me happy. So, and I love putting it on, I love playing with it, and that's pretty much what I do, is I like playing with makeup and coming on here and talking to y'all and chatting with y'all about playing with makeup. So, subscribe, I would really truly appreciate it. I appreciate it, everybody that has subscribed. And um, yeah, I hope you'll have an amazing, amazing day tonight and tomorrow. I'll see you again on Wednesday. Any advice, comments, suggestions, please put them below. If not, we um, shall see you again on Wednesday. Have an amazing day, lovies. I love y'all. Bye.